Hey guys, today we have an HP DeskJet 4155E printer. A common issue that uh, most users will have on it is when paper is not being picked up, even though the paper is loaded in the printer. And I'll show you how to get rid of that problem and continue printing. So for the first, um, I'm gonna, there's rollers in here that can accumulate paper, or there's also objects in there that could be fallen and uh, such as paper clips or a pen that would interfere with paper being picked up. So that's the first thing that you need to check. So grab a flashlight or some light on your phone, for example, and uh, check this area. So remove any paper. Then you're gonna lift this flap right here and you're gonna see if there's anything there. So um, you would be able to see if, if there's a paper clip or anything like that in the way and go ahead and take that out. If you need some uh, area, like more room for your hand, you can always remove this um, in order to have some more space here to move around and get into that area. So what, what I'll do is just press in the middle, push it towards one side and it'll just slide out of that uh, side there. So just remove that you'll be able to see much better in here and have better access. So if you've checked and uh, there isn't anything there, then most pro uh, most um, most likely that the problem is with these rollers right here. So, so we're going to also for cleaning, we're going to remove the the back uh, tray like we did. Um, don't worry to put it back in. It's not that hard. You just got to make sure this pin goes in here and that goes into the rails right here on this side and same thing on that so as soon as you put that in here align it you're gonna push this in push it to one side and just put it in there like that see you can always do it again just don't over pull it to avoid any damage so pretty simple um, once again I'm removing it and uh, you sent the paper through and it's showing it's blinking that it's not there's no paper you need to load paper um, just in, in this case right here okay once again I'm gonna try to use this you see the rollers right there there's gonna be one on the right one on the left that's what we're trying to clean okay so in order to do that you can use um, some cardboard paper alcohol swab uh, and or like sorry the cardboard paper and alcohol swab or you can use a business card like in this case I'll be able to reach with just the business card and I'm gonna staple the alcohol swab to here why I like it is because it doesn't rip and you can get a whole box for about two dollars at Walgreens or Walmart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on the edge here, like that. And circle it, just to keep it in place. And that should be pretty safe. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna hit the paper uh, feed button, just to let our printer that we've loaded the paper. But before I do that, I'm gonna set on under one, under one of the uh, rollers. It's a bit hard to see, but this is the area I'm talking about. So I've got that set under the roller and there's nothing under this roller for now. And when I press the feed button, make sure to hold this uh, cardboard or the business card from feeding into the printer because that may cause some damage or um, it's just gonna be a jam that you'll need to work on getting out of there. So make sure you hold this so this is the paper feed button that you need to press whenever you have a paper jam uh, and you have resolved it or whenever you have uh, paper loaded after you ran out and that's the button you need to press to resume printing so we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to hold the business card in the back okay so what that's going to do is just going to let the roller roll over the, um, the alcohol swab as if it's trying to pick up the uh, paper 
and as it does that it cleans it so this printer hasn't used much paper so I'm not sure how much we'll see on the alcohol swab if we'll see anything but if yours uh, came to that point um, then you will see like a line right here like a skid mark kind of thing so I'm gonna go to this side and do the same thing I just flipped it over and then I'm gonna press that button again and let it roll over if your roller you can see like some black accumulation on there um, with time then just do it a few times and you should be good um, so after that let it dry for a few minutes and you should be able to put the paper in there in the meantime I'm just gonna put this back on so this is the back side the back towards the back of the printer this is the front side that you're gonna be looking at when you are looking at the printer with the uh, measurements and stuff like that so another way to do it is just insert these bottom ones and then try to do the top ones kind of which is not exactly easier it's just a different way of doing it um, so lift that one there we go we got the tray back in and we'll load some paper in there all right I'm gonna send a copy through now I'm gonna see if it's working now we should be able to see the paper being fed right away and that's what happened so the paper went in right away uh, let it dry for about two minutes or so and you should be good so hopefully that was the issue um, with the printer that you were able to resolve um, hopefully it's all up and running now thank you so much for watching if you have the document feeder that's not feeding the paper it's a little bit easier access so you just open here you lift this part so just lift it right here like so and you can just clean the rollers right here so this is the roller and this is the other one that needs to be cleaned when you're not having the um, document fed into your printer so that's just another um, thing that you should look into if if you're having a problem with the document feeder anyway thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to our channel and have a wonderful day thank you